evening, guys. Rico here, Rico's Place. How you all doing? I just thought I would uh, cook us a pot of a uh, pot, a pan, a fry pan, Portuguese wok, disc blade, whatever you want to call it, uh, a batch of fried potatoes. And what I'm doing today is this evening is I, I prepped this stuff a couple days ago, but the storms were coming in. And I, I just figured I didn't cook it. I got to get this stuff cooked or I'm going to throw it out. So I just... Uh, Come, uh, how's it go? Come, uh, come rain or hell water, high water. Come hell or high water. Uh, I was going to cook this stuff today. So I, uh, I got everything prepped. We're going to get going on this. We're going to get us a batch of the, uh, the 131 fried potatoes going. It's a, uh, a version of Minor Mike's um, smashed red potatoes that he makes. I kind of remember his recipe. Oh, Odie, 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 Odie. Odie. Odie's such a good dog. Daisy. Daisy May, she's a pain in the ass for the butt. Sorry, butt. Come here. Yeah, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. But I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Uh, smash that like button. Subscribe. There's a little subscribe button right, right here, I think. Pink little says, don't be afraid. I don't know what it says, but subscribe, hit it. Uh, hit the little notification bell. Do the likes. I guess the thumbs up likes is a good thing. People like that. Uh, it tells you you don't have to comment. It's easy to say, yeah, you're doing the right stuff. Just do that stuff for me. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this. Uh, let's get this. Uh, we'll do it one more time. Let's just get this. Uh, let's get our channel building. Uh, part of that's on me. I got to get organized. I got to find the time to make these videos and edit them. Get the dog hair out of the coffee. This is as clean as it's going to get today. Now, what I like to do, and some of you know this, is I like to. Uh, I like to clean the wok. I'll put a little vodka on it. Kind of sanitizes it. It's not going to get you intoxicated. You're not going to get drunk off of it. The alcohol immediately burns off. Now I'm. I usually have a cheap bottle of like Wolfenschmidt or whoo, some cheap cheap stuff. I'm out of that, so I'm using the good well my good stuff Tito's. And I'm just going to sanitize the grill. And you know what? That's good for me. Whoa. That is how we're going to sanitize this grill. Okay, so we'll let that burn off. I'm going to put a package of bacon in. I get the wok. We're just going to get the wok all greased up with this bacon grease. Trying to start this, the cooking process. We're not going to cook it so it's crunchy. Okay. It's cut up into about half inch pieces. And then we're gonna throw some lard into the mix. Now, if you're cooking on one of these disc blades, uh, I call it the wok, Portuguese wok. Sometimes what I do is I'll get the heat and the fire off of one side and just keep one side hot so I can bring the stuff over to the cooler side. That's up to you. So I have a, a dozen of these little red potatoes. Normally I would smash them down, but they're not quite smashable. So we're just gonna we're just gonna slice them. Whoa, 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 what the hell? So we're just gonna take these potatoes and we're just gonna slice them into quarter inch slices, half inch slices, it don't matter. Normally you could just smash them down with the knife, but I don't think I parboiled these long enough, but this will work. Okay, so the idea is not to just kind of, we just kind of, kind of want to fold them like we do a cake batter. We're not trying to mash them up. We'll take a little bit of the uh, Rico's SPGP. Put that in there. A little salt, pepper, garlic, paprika. Okay, then I already cut up a, a big bunch of the green onions. I think I got one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, maybe two green bell peppers. I don't know. I have a sliced jalapeno, sliced serrano in there, and I'm just gonna 
put this into the mix. And then you're just going to cook these like you would regular spied potatoes. Now we're just going to, uh, we're just going to turn down the heat a little bit on this. Now the idea, the idea isn't to scoop up all the vegetables, it's kind of in there for flavor. I want the potato, and we'll throw a few of the uh, jalapenos and the serranos in with it. And uh, just kind of plating is, is, the, is the thing here. If it looks good, it's going to taste good. So let me uh, get these out of the disc. So we're trying not to, to break the potatoes up. We're going to take though these long pieces of pepper, throw them in there. Probably what you would do if you were really trying to make it look pretty, you'd saute some bell pe red bell pepper strips and put it on there. Tell the camera that. Oh. Now if I was really uh, trying to uh, cook to impress, I'd probably saute some red pepper, yellow pepper strips, kind of put them in there, give it a little bit of good color. But these, uh, I don't know how they taste yet. I'm going to taste one here in a minute. All right, so guys, this is the uh, 131 potatoes, uh, Miner Mike's, you know, original recipe, Rico's twist on it. I'm going to do a little taste. Those are pretty good. The, uh, ooh, the jalapenos and serranos give it just a little bit of a bite. Um, about all I can stand. I'll tell you what, these are good. You guys keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Have a great evening. I'll see you on the next one. This is Rico the Tie Dye Cowboy. Un momento, por favor. Saludos, my friends.